So suppose the position of a diver, so position of a diver, position, position of a diver, right, um, starting at time t0, at time t equals to 0. So this diver is um, perched up 32 feet from the ground, okay, and he's jumping, uh, okay, so jumping, jumping from 32, jumping from 32, okay, feet above ground, right, um, of course, above the water as well is given uh, is given by the following is given by the following position function. Okay. So let me write the function over here. So the function is s of t. Okay is equal to negative negative 16 t square actually let me let me make that look a little better okay negative 16 t square and um, plus 16 t plus 32. So in this, uh, in this problem, so this is the position function for the diver who jumped from 32 feet above the water. Okay, so the question that they're asking us here is questions. I'm going to write them down, right? The first question is at what time t will the diver hit the water? So, at what time t will diver, okay, hit the water, right? Um, that's the first question that they're asking. The second question is, what is the diver's velocity at impact? Okay, so let me put one here and two here. What is the diver's velocity at impact? Okay, so what? Okay, uh, velocity. at impact, right? And of course, uh, we're measuring feet uh, per second, okay, at impact. Okay, so we're, me we're measuring, measuring uh, feet per seconds here, okay, so feet and seconds. Okay, so, so let me answer the first question. So to answer the first question, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to take this, um, this um, expression here and I am going to just uh, set it equal to zero, okay? And since this is a position function, this will give me the time when the, um, when the, um, the diver hits, okay, hits, um, the water. Okay, so let me actually cut and paste this somewhere. Well, maybe what I'll do is, okay, let me cut it and paste it somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to cut it from here and uh, copy it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it down here. Okay, so I'm going to factor this. I'm going to paste it. So here it is. And I'm pasting it down here. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, I want to uh, to f 
to set this equal to zero, right, so I'm going to set this equal to zero. So I'm going to write so solution. I'm doing the solution now. Okay, so let me solve this. I'm going to do the solution in blue. Okay, so I have my equation here. So I'm going to set this equal to zero. So this becomes so they want to know when the diver hits the water. So we go minus 16t squared. Okay, plus 16t plus 32 equals to zero. So uh, I can pull out the 16, the minus 16 from uh, from here, because there's a factor of 16 in each one of these terms. So when we do that, we get that minus 16, okay, times uh, t squared uh, minus t minus minus t minus two. is equal to zero. So this says that minus 16, okay, this, let me make it look more like a 16. This is a parenthesis here. So this is in the minus 16. Of course, I can divide, you know, across by negative 16 both sides, and I will get rid of it over here. So this is saying that, uh, and probably what I will do is I will do that. So let me just, uh, let me just erase this from here. So I'm just going to divide both sides by now, minus 16, and uh, in the process, I want to make this look nicer. I don't like that blue there, so I'm just using some black ink. Cover this up. So let me let me go to the blue blue again. So now I have this, and now so like I have now t squared minus t minus two equals to zero. And now I can factor this uh, this polynomial. So this implies that uh, t minus 2 times t, all right, plus 1 is equal to 0. So this implies that t equals 2, i.e., this implies that t equals 2, okay, or t equals, okay, 2, negative 1. But of course, uh, we're dealing with positive time, not with negative time. So of course, I am just going to. Uh, discard this this solution. So the diver hits the water at exactly t equals 2. So diver hits, so diver hits at t equals, no, we start later, at t equals Um, to two seconds. Okay, so now the next question that they want us to uh, to answer for them is um, what what is the velocity in feet per second when he hits the water? So we know that he hits at equals to two seconds. So now let's answer the second. Um, Let's, ask, let's answer the second uh, question. So, of course, we know how to differentiate, and uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so let's differentiate. So we're going to take the function, okay, that we had over here. Okay, let me actually copy and paste it. Okay, so I'm selecting this, and I am going to copy it. Um, and I'm going to paste it in another page, okay? Okay, so here I am pasting it over here, and I'm going to paste it nicely so that it looks good. Okay, so there we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the derivative of s of t, okay, in respect to time. So, so we know then that s prime of t, the derivative of f of, of s of t, okay, is going to be achieved by taking the derivative term-wise of, of this polynomial, because I can, you know, when I take derivatives, I can, I can take derivatives, okay, of, of each of the terms involved in the polynomial. Uh, okay, so let me actually do that. So, um, so this is going to become 
negative 16 times 2 times t, so this is going to become negative uh, 32t, okay, plus uh, 16. That is what the derivative uh, is. And what this um, is giving me is um, the derivative of this function, as we discussed in our last meeting, or in our, our previous, me previous meeting last week, that um, the derivative of this function is giving me information about the tangent lines to the graph of the curve at points uh, t comma f, I'm sorry, t comma s of t. All right, so, um, so this is it. So now I want to see what the velocity okay, uh, is at time t equals to 2. And all I do is I, I compute s prime of 2. And um, when I compute that, this comes out to be negative 48 okay, feet per second. Now the reason why, um, um, why it's negative is because this diver is falling and when, when you fall uh, the, uh, the velocity of course is going to be negative. If, you, if the diver were rising the velocity would be, would be positive. Okay, but this diver is falling. Okay, and this is it. So this is how the derivative gave us uh, this information. And um, it is actually quite useful to have this. And, uh, but before I leave, actually, let me just tell you something that, uh, that uh, is useful to know in general. Okay, so what I want to tell you is that the position of a, of a free-falling uh, object, okay, so let me actually write this in another page over here, so, so general fact, right? So general fact, right? Uh, the position of a free-falling object neglecting air resistance, right, so position of a free, right, falling object, right, neglecting air resistance, okay, so neglecting air resistance, I'm just writing it this way, I hope you don't mind, neglecting air resistance, okay, under the influence of gravity, right, under, so this object you know, under the influence of gravity, right, is given by by the expression or by the equation, is given by the equation um, that I am going to write right now. So it's going to be given by the equation s of t equals to one half g t squared plus v naught of t plus s naught. Okay, here of course where, and now I have to explain to you what g is, what v naught is, and what s naught is, and I'm going to do precisely that, where, okay, okay, where g is equal to negative 32 feet, okay, per second, and v naught is equal to initial velocity and of course s naught is equal to initial height of course in sec I mean initial initial height in feet right so keep this um, keep this um, equation in mind for future use.